Welcome to our video on Carl Jung quotes. As the founder of analytical psychology, Jung's work has left a profound impact on modern psychology and continues to inspire people worldwide. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the wisdom of Carl Jung. The greatest and most important problems of life, are all fundamentally insoluble. They can never be solved but only outgrown. There is no birth of consciousness without pain. I have treated many hundreds of patients. Among those in the second half of life, that is to say, over 35, there has not been one whose problem in the last resort was not that of finding a religious outlook on life. Show me a sane man and I will cure him for you. A human being would certainly not grow to be 70 or 80 years old if this longevity had no meaning for the species. The afternoon of human life must also have a significance of its own and cannot be merely a pitiful appendage to life's morning. We should not pretend to understand the world only by the intellect. The judgment of the intellect is only part of the truth. The debt we owe to the play of imagination is incalculable. All the works of man have their origin in creative fantasy. What right have we then to depreciate imagination? We shall probably get nearest to the truth if we think of the conscious and personal psyche as resting upon the broad basis of an inherited and universal psychic disposition which is as such unconscious, and that our personal psyche bears the same relation to the collective psyche as the individual to society. A particularly beautiful woman is a source of terror. As a rule, a beautiful woman is a terrible disappointment. Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. We cannot change anything until we accept it. Condemnation does not liberate, it oppresses. One looks back with appreciation to the brilliant teachers, but with gratitude to those who touched our human feelings. The curriculum is so much necessary raw material, but warmth is the vital element for the growing plant and for the soul of the child. As far as we can discern, the sole purpose of human existence is to kindle a light in the darkness of mere being. The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances, if there is any reaction, both are transformed. Every form of addiction is bad, no matter whether the narcotic be alcohol or morphine or idealism. When an inner situation is not made conscious, it appears outside as fate. Knowledge rests not upon truth alone, but upon error also. We are born at a given moment, in a given place and, like vintage years of wine, we have the qualities of the year and of the season of which we are born. Astrology does not lay claim to anything more. The shoe that fits one person pinches another, 
There is no recipe for living that suits all cases. Neurosis is always a substitute for legitimate suffering. Where love rules, there is no will to power, and where power predominates, their love is lacking. The one is the shadow of the other. For a young person, it is almost a sin, or at least a danger, to be too preoccupied with himself, but for the aging person, it is a duty and a necessity to devote serious attention to himself. The least of things with a meaning is worth more in life than the greatest of things without it. Masses are always breeding grounds of psychic epidemics. It is a fact that cannot be denied, the wickedness of others becomes our own wickedness because it kindles something evil in our own hearts. Mistakes are, after all, the foundations of truth, and if a man does not know what a thing is, it is at least an increase in knowledge if he knows what it is not. The word belief is a difficult thing for me. I don't believe. I must have a reason for a certain hypothesis. Either I know a thing, and then I know it, I don't need to believe it. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darknesses of other people. In all chaos there is a cosmos, in all disorder a secret order. Your vision will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside, dreams, who looks inside, awakes. Even a happy life cannot be without a measure of darkness, and the word happy would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. It is far better take things as they come along with patience, and equanimity. There is no coming to consciousness without pain. The creation of something new is not accomplished by the intellect but by the play instinct acting from inner necessity. The creative mind plays with the objects it loves. Through pride we are ever deceiving ourselves. But deep down below the surface of the average conscience a still, small voice says to us, something is out of tune. Children are educated by what the grown-up is and not by his talk. Man needs difficulties, they are necessary for health. There is no such thing as a pure introvert or extrovert. Such a person would be in the lunatic asylum. If there is anything that we wish to change in the child, we should first examine it and see whether it is not something that could better be changed in ourselves. The collective unconscious consists of the sum of the instincts and their correlates, the archetypes. Just as everybody possesses instincts, so he also possesses a stock of archetypal images.
Jung's ideas and teachings continue to be a source of inspiration and guidance for many people. Which of his quotes resonated with you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.